Meg Scrappiness and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Today I'd like to share with you all a paper bag mini album that I've created and I have used supplies from Faith Pocock Craft Studio Limited. I'll leave a link down below to for Faith's store, online store and to all her social media as well. So I guess we get started. Um, I've attached on the spine one of the metal door handles that came with my Timekeeper kit and I've created a lot of little charms. So all of these charms are available in her store. And um, yeah, so I guess I can try and show you. Um, I have a little vial here just filled with some sand. I've tried to keep the, within the theme of time or, and a timekeeper. And then this is a metal filigree and I've just attached a glass cabochon watch face on top of that. And then, yeah, they're all just pretty much the same. Some clock charms and, and keys, and I think somewhere here I have a tiny little hourglass as well. Sorry, guys, it's been a long time since I've done a video, so I'm a little out of practice with this, so please bear with me. So, now to the front cover, I've used a lot of cogs um, and some burlap. Uh, flowers from Prima, another clock face that I've, a uh, um, glass cabochon clock face that I've attached into a, a metal charm and then a filigree leaf and this is just one of her ornate sort of door handles as well, miniature door handles and to keep it closed I've just used some um, antique bronze chain and a magnetic necklace clasp so um, and we'll go inside. So it's um, I've used five paper bags, and I've used um, I think it's Osgren's method of the hidden hinge. I'll leave a link below as well to her video that teaches how to do this. I really like this version of the hidden hinge. Uh, it's a bit of a mix of hidden hinge and stack the deck, but it's really sturdy. Anyway, I'll get started. <laughs> um, I didn't really want to cover this up too much. I think the paper itself is just gorgeous. So I've just stuck in another Prima Burlap flower down here in the corner and created a flap with the paper bag. Each of these flaps contain a, a tag, which is double-sided for photos. And they just slide in here. The bags are still um, fully functional. They will open right up to store memorabilia and other photos. Uh, so this is the base of the bag and I've created two pockets with that so I have a little triangle piece happening in here in the corner and I've tucked in a stamp tag. I've used Kaiser Craft stamps and all of my tags were coffee dyed. I just cut them out of my cameo and uh, from a file folder and then coffee dyed them all. So. Um, this is, yeah, I said that, this <laughs> and then on the back I've just stamped some dotted lines for journaling. And then this is a double-sided photo mat, and all of the photo mats are all double-sided. And then there's a place here for a photo, and then also there's another place here for a photo. So it's a little bit sort of awkward to show. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit I'll be able to leave it down on my table and it will be be a little bit better. Let's see how we go with that. So on the back of this one here I have a removable photo mat. So you could put a photo here and a photo on here. And I've stamped with background stamps in Tim Holtz tea dye. Um, the photo mats are just craft cardstock and black cardstock. So <clears throat> I have another stamp tag here using the Tim Holtz um, stamps. And then the metal embellishment this is an ornate plate, an ornate filigree plate that I've folded in half, bent in half, to create a tag top and just attached a little pearl in the centre there and more of the metal charms. This, these are, this is a bicycle and a clock piece. So all of these charms within the, within the book have all come from Faith's store. So, then it opens out this way, this is a double fold out page and I've created sort of vertical belly bands with some burlap ribbon and, and some tw uh, 
twill ribbon, I think it's twill ribbon, and then topped each with a metal filigree flower and added a little pearl in the centre. So, under these I've tucked two journaling spots that are stamped on the back as well. So I've used um, <clears throat> the 12 by 12 paper pad and a few pieces, maybe one or two pieces from the 6 by 6. So these fold out to reveal like a double spread um, for places for photos. And this photo mat here is how I've attached to the page <clears throat> and then um, embellished with an or another ornate plate and just the from the bottom of the papers. And here is a place to put a photo with some little banners, just stamped them out again. Again, these were Kaiser Craft stamps. And then a journaling tag. Um, and I've used another uh, teardrop filigree. So I've folded it over so on the back it looks like this. And then I've attached a metal flower and a pearl to the centre of that one. It just slides in here. And then another double sided photo mat for here. So they close up. Oh, again, sorry, I nearly forgot, forgot the pockets. I have two double-sided photo mats inside the pockets. <clears throat> so then we open up this way, and I have a removable photo mat again that tucks in under a metal flower. So there's places for photos both sides on that one, and another pocket with a tag, more stamping on this one, um, and more filigrees. This was a square one that I trimmed down. These metal filigrees cut quite easily, especially with your Tim Holtz scissors, they snip through it quite easily. And this flower, sorry guys, this flower was actually a bead cap, and I just snipped it a little bit to open it right out and turn it into a metal flower. And then I have another photo mat in here. And then it opens up again, and I've created two more vertical belly bands, again using the burlap ribbon, and some more of um, the ornate plates, and I've topped them with some more of the metal flowers that are available in this store. Uh, I've glued all of the metal down with E6000. These are two more journaling spots to just slide out. Um, and then the pages open up to reveal another double sort of spread inside here. Um, and again, I have tabbed photo mats, double sided photo mats inside there. I'm going to slide those back in. And we we have on this side here, we have a place for a photo. This is the photo mat it is stuck down. I didn't um, leave this one up. I, and then I attached a metal filigree flower and used one of pearl, the pearls, acrylic pearls that are also available in Face Store. Um, my lighting's not real good today, guys. It's wet and rainy down here in my part of Australia. So I've also created a journaling tag. I love this stamp and it seemed to blend in well with the with the papers and some more dotted lines for journaling on the back. Double sided photo map <clears throat> slides into there. And then on the last page I've just stuck down another photo map and a prima burlap flower and that's it. So that's this was too pretty to do anything to. I couldn't stick anything on there. I really liked how it was, so I've left this one plain. And that's my mini album, guys. Um, thanks for joining me today, and please be sure to check out all the links down below. So, thanks for watching. Bye.